hey, 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 it's election day. Yes, it is. And so listen, this is an impromptu video because, um, so real gospel, um, excellent X-Man Lawson here. So listen, I want you, I'm going to, right after I finish speaking in a second, right? I want you to watch this clip from MSNBC. And I want you to listen to what they're saying in this reporting because it's very important. In one of my other videos, I talked about um, disinformation in the news media. And so I figured, you know, why not spread a little real gospel? So I talked in one of my other videos about some of the programming that I watch and how I got started. But I won't talk about it right now. What I want you to do is watch this news clip. It's about five minutes long after this. Or save it, all right? Save it and watch it later if you don't have time to watch the whole thing right now. But I definitely want you to watch the whole thing. Because one thing that's for sure, if you are a diehard Republican, right, and you're watching this, I promise you, the things that you're going to watch on this news clip are things that you probably have never heard before or don't understand because if you watch Fox News or if you watch um, Republican-leaning uh, programming, whether it be radio or television, they edit out the content to make Donald Trump look good all the time. He is a master of work in the media, and so that's why I'm trying to give you all another pass, another understanding on election night as to what has been going on with you all. So I dare you, I dare you to watch this entire clip. Please like, share, follow. All right, here we go. Just heard a line from uh, former President Barack Obama. He and his wife, former First Lady Michelle Obama, have been among the most effective campaign surrogates uh, and high-profile endorsers of Vice President Kamala Harris. Um, former President Obama just posted this. It took several days to count every ballot in 2020. It's very likely we won't know the outcome tonight either. So please keep a few things in mind as you make your voice heard today. Number one, thousands of election workers around the country are working hard today. Respect them. Thank them. Number two, don't share things before checking your sources. And number three, let the process run its course. It takes time to count every ballot. That from former President Barack Obama today. In contrast, uh, former President Trump, the Republican candidate today, um, sent out uh, an online post that seems like an effort to intimidate Philadelphia voters. I'm just going to say it. A lot of talk about massive cheating in Philadelphia. Law enforcement coming. Uh, to which Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner responded. He said, quote, the only talk about massive cheating has come from one of the candidates, Donald Trump. There is no factual basis whatsoever within law enforcement to support this wild allegation. We have invited complaints and allegations of improprieties all day. If Donald Trump has any facts to support his wild allegations, we want them now, right now. We are not holding our breath. Again, that's the district attorney in Philadelphia. Um, I will just play, I want to play you one piece of sound. This is just shy of one minute of sound from that same district attorney, Larry Krasner, speaking last night, um, advising anybody who's thinking about committing crimes or threatening violence on Donald Trump's behalf in this election as to what they can expect from law enforcement in Pennsylvania and in Philadelphia in particular if they try it. This is strong sound. Watch. I want people to be reassured that when they get up tomorrow to go vote, if they have not voted already, that everybody in this city is working and has been working for months to make sure that there will be nothing tough about that experience and nothing to fear in that experience. But I also want to be clear, anybody who thinks it's time to play militia, F around and find out. Anybody who thinks it's time to insult, to deride, to mistreat, to threaten people, F around and find out. We do have the cuffs, we do have the jail cells, we do have the Philly juries, and we have the state prisons. So if you're gonna to try to turn an election into some form of coercion, if you're gonna to try to bully people, bully votes or voters, you're gonna to try to erase votes, you're gonna try any of that nonsense, we're not playing, F around and find out. We're not playing. I'm amazed that he said F out and didn't let that go. Chris, I mean, this issue has to loom over this election because of what happened when Donald Trump lost the last election. But I do feel like it's not just one party in that expectation. Law enforcement is part of that expectation, too, and they know what the other side is telegraphing in terms of potential crime or violence. 
Yeah, I think it's those sort of clear messages. The first thing he started with, I think, is really important, which is it's safe to vote. I mean, one, yeah. of, the, one of the concerns that was expressed, and one of the things I think we even wrestled with in our coverage leading up to today, is the idea that the perception of chaos, the perception of menace and threat, can serve the purpose even in the absence of actual chaos, menace, and threat, which yep. is to say people get freaked out or they think, like, the polling place is going to be unsafe. And sending the message like, things are, you've seen, you know, we've seen the images from, from Philadelphia and Temple University sending that message. It is safe to vote. It is an orderly process. And I do, I will reiterate again the thing that we've reiterated many times since 2020. There are thousands of people, Democrat and Republican, staffing poll sites today, mm -hmm. doing their job yeah. with fidelity to the Constitution, with fidelity to the, the, the democratic process that is lacking at the top of the ticket the Republican nomination, who is sending out these wild Like, there's so many people across the ideological spectrum, across the partisan spectrum, who are just staffing various centers across this country in every pocket and corner, just doing the right thing today, already, on yeah. the election. And it's an indicator, again, of, like, why leadership matters so yeah. much. And as the loudest voices at the top not being that way, that's the dangerous part. Watching us, just that line from President Barack Obama saying, thank them, yeah. respect them, and thank them. It's like, oh, right, normal yeah. leadership that calls on the better angels of our yes. nature. Um, I want to jump to Steve Karnacki here just for a moment. Steve, I understand um, we don't expect usually much that tells us anything from the earliest votes.